Welcome to Experiments Within video where we bring you raw experiments straight from our creative team where they look to push the envelope to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. There are a lot of shapes on the InVideo tool which you can use to complement your videos but on this week's episode, I'm just going to use the shapes to create a typography design. Have a look. These typography videos can be used as brand intros, album art, motion posters, commercials, or can just be posted as abstract art for your design portfolio. In this tutorial, I'm going to use InVideo on the web browser to create the main video and spice it up with Filmer by InVideo on my iPhone. All in all, play your ideas and let's get started. So here's my blank canvas and uh, if you guys noticed, my typography design is synced with the audio, the music. There's a ton of music tracks that you can find on the left panel of the tool. Uh, but since I'm making this video uh, for my portfolio on Instagram, I'm just going to use a trending Instagram track for it to perform better on the platform. Bring in my track that I chose onto the timeline. I'm just going to trim the part which I want to play on the video. So how I'm going to play with the scenes is that I'm going to make two scenes. One with the original typography animation that I want to present and the other one that will introduce the shapes. So now I have two scenes and I just want to make sure they're in sync with the audio. So now as I've got two scenes, I'll just start adding the shapes to it. I'm going to first work on the second scene where the shapes reveal the typography. I want to type in video, so I'm going to choose the shapes that can be formed into that word. gonna go to the scene one and add a lot of random shapes from the left panel the next step that I'm gonna perform is change the color of the elements and the canvas when I'm not sure about the colors to choose I just go to coolers I'm quite satisfied with the colors that I've chosen here uh, it's a personal preference you can choose any color you want Let's move on to scene 1 to add the animations. I'll go to the advanced timeline. I'm going to add animations depending on the shape. If it's a circular shape, I'm, I'll prefer adding a bounce. Uh, if it's a triangle, I'll add a fly in or something like that. But I'm going to make sure that I set the duration to 3 seconds so that it comes, uh, uh, comes in slow and nice. I'm going to keep the out animation the same for all the elements. So depending on the placement, I'm going to uh, make sure the animation uh, the element moves to that side so if it's uh, a little towards the top i'm going to make sure the, the element exits towards the top For this particular scene, I'm not going to use a lot of uh, animations, I'm just going to use one or two animations uh, to mix it up and make it look like uh, the elements are coming together to assemble into a word that we have written. So 
before I move it to the filmer wrap, I'm just gonna add a, a little bit of highlight. So I'm just gonna duplicate all the elements and place it uh, on top of the existing elements to, to highlight it a little in between according to the music. I'm just gonna show you how. adding simple disco station animation so that so that it just appears for a bit and goes away I've changed the color of all these highlight elements or duplicate elements to white so that when they appear one by one, it looks like it's giving a highlight or just shining on top of the existing elements. So now I'm going to export this video and I'm going to put it on my iPhone so where I can spice it up using uh, Filmer by InVideo. So see you there. I'm using an iPad so I'm going to edit it here but uh, you can do the same on your phones. So I'm just going to open the app. I'm just going to import my project by clicking on camera roll, select the video I want. You need to duplicate the layer into as many effects you want to add. So I want to add two effects. One is going to be a flash and one is going to be a sparkle in the end on the text. So I'm just going to make sure that uh, I trim it to the part where I want the flash to begin. And the first sequence needs to be trimmed till the part the second sequence to begin. Since I want to add another effect, I'm just going to add another duplicate sequence. So it's time to add the effect so I'm just going to click on the layer, second layer where I want the flash effect to appear. So I'm just going to add the sparkling effect to the third layer. I think that's the highlight that we wanted. So now I'm just going to export this video and uh, we're ready to go. We'd love to know if you enjoyed the video, the output and if you learned something new. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you more such video creation tips and tutorials every day.